What is up, everybody? How you doing? It's your boy, Max Boogie from Wall Street. Back at it again. Week 2, Daniel Taylor and Quincy Blunt. Um, we going up against the Oakland Raiders. That's the right thing, right? Oakland? I haven't really even said that in, like, a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would say Los Angeles Rams, but I haven't. It's just the Raiders. You know what I'm saying? You know, whatever. But um, this game, man, is definitely something crazy. Definitely going to have to watch till the end. Um, throughout the first half, the first couple quarters, the the defense, man, I don't know what just happened to Godfrey right there. But me on defense, this is a, this is very challenging. You know what I'm saying? This isn't as easy. All right. This isn't as easy as it was before. You know what I'm saying? Usually when I do the career modes and stuff, um, even when I do create Daniel Taylor and um, Quincy Blunt, um, no matter what overall I put them at, they are, it's always easy, you know what I'm saying, on all pro, it's, it's very easy, but this year, I guess, since we're just starting out, um, this is actually something challenging, you see right here, I'm going on it, going for it on fourth and five, we get Julio Jones up, they get the shoestring tackle to save the touchdown, but, um, I base their stats off of, uh, the highest, um, running back and middle linebacker and ultimate team, I think I said that before, and, you know, the overall is like 92, 95, 90 something, something in the 90s, but they don't have 99 speed and stuff like that. Quincy Blunt, it shows a lot. Um, I think his speed is like 86 or something like that. I have to go check, but he, it, compared to the previous Maddens, he's playing, it, it's very hard for me to play with. I got to get used to it. Um, you're going to see me, I'm running the 4-4 split trying to stop these runs. Um, it's another thing. The computer, they mix it up a lot. Maybe I should start doing that a lot more on offense and defense to probably have more success. But um, you can see right here, I'm still in the 4-4 split. I'm starting to try to figure it out, man. But this running back, he, this guy's a monster. I don't even know who this is. Here is when I start pinching the D-line. And the first time I do it, Quincy Blunt actually gets to come free. Now, the problem here is that when I'm running this run defense, I'm only using Quincy Blunt the whole time. So he's sometimes he's the strong side, sometimes he's the weak side linebacker. And the run defense, I, know, I usually just play with the weak side linebacker most of the time so I can just come in with the extra help to try and stop the run. This time we get in the backfield, try to strip, he breaks the tackle. And he gains about one yard on the play. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, in the previous Madden, Quincy Blunt would have not missed that tackle. You know what I'm saying? We have Devontae Freeman in his wild falc. This wild falcon formation. You know what I'm saying? It's no, not the wildcat no more. This wild falcon. But um, we got Devontae Freeman, uh, Tevin Coleman, Daniel Taylor, Muhammad Sanu over here catching passes over the middle. And um, that's just how we are rolling this season. Then, tight end screen. Hooper comes in. A lot of new additions on offense. A lot of the same. Uh, we've been had Devontae Freeman and all that, but we did lose Roddy White. But Hooper on the tight end screen gets a touchdown. I, I haven't used it before. It's the first game I'm throwing that tight end screen. It is working. Coming out of halftime, Matt Ryan kind of overthrows this pass right into the defense. Malcolm Smith with the interception. And, um, hey, this is... I'm not joking right now. I was really kind of struggling when I was playing this, but we're going to come back in. Hopefully, we can start stopping the run like this here. I can't even get off of blocks with Quincy Blunt. You know, it's very, very hard. Daniel Taylor, though, as long as I'm running forward, as long as there's an opening, I'm just going to run straight and try to run him over because the jukes and spins don't work as much as people would like them to. You know what I'm saying? It's It's something that you have to get used to. You might have to find it out. The computer definitely knows how to do it because I've definitely got hit with a couple of double jukes to the inside. The Wildcat formation, Tevin Coleman, he's too fast. Fresh running back gets in the game in the Wild Falcon formation. My bad. I said Wildcat. We messed up. It's all good. But he comes in and scores the touchdown, puts us up 17-10. to 10. Now, they're going to get the ball back. I'm in my pass coverage defense, and we out here... I don't know how this happened. He came in unblocked, stopped that run in the backfield. And um, it was very, very fortunate. I couldn't get it to happen again. Because on the next play, they, they hit us with a little juke. He breaks another tackle. gets the first down, just like that. 
I don't know who this running back is, but his number is 33. And we all know everybody with you got if your number is 33, you gotta be tough playing running back. That's just a given. Third and six though, we playing man coverage. The computer knows it. They hit that corner out wide open in the in the uh, t towards the sideline, get the toe tap in there, the possession catch. And um that's another thing I gotta change up, man. I wasn't really playing that much coverages. Um, it was either cover three when I'm trying to stop the run or, or man where if I thought they was passing. I need to find like a balanced formation to um just just to come out just just to like kind of defend both because one of these formations that I'm doing definitely to the opposite does not help the other out. This time here, Quincy Blunt comes in on that Quincy Blitz. Makes that running back fumble, but unluckily for us, they picked the ball back up. We tried to get him again. I dove slow. He bounced off of a block, and that's what happens, man. I, I, I don't know. The computer is something else. Like I said before, it's it's challenging. You know what I'm saying? I can't really blow them out like I've I've been doing the last couple years on All Pro. But you never know. Maybe it change up. Passing the ball is like something... Um, it's kind of tough. That was a third and six. We just converted on a um, short pass. And we're going to go back to the drag right here, trying to get upfield and score some points. All we need to do is kick the field goal, let the time run down a little bit, and we'd be good. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really, we don't really need to score because if we run the clock all the way out, we'll be all right. That's what, that's what was going through my head, trying to get this win. And that's why we're running the ball here with Daniel Taylor. Over and over again. And this guy throws his back out. Trying to tackle him. But we're going to keep on giving Daniel Taylor the ball, man. Right up the middle. Can we get this touchdown? We're running safeties over. Malcolm Smith tackling us down at the one-yard line. So now we're in the predicament. We got to score here. End up not scoring. We kick the field goal. Now we're up three points. Okay. Taking the lead. About a minute left. They don't have any timeouts. Seems like a good thing. I mean, I mean, it seemed like a good thing. You know, we tried the Quincy Blitz and they do this. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. We go for the Quincy Blitz again. Hey, just we got bad play calling. It's not that easy. So now we're down by four in the fourth quarter. We're going to try to drive the ball down the field. Try to get as much yards as we can. I tried to hurdle both of them defenders right there. But um, we're just trying to score. Get this touchdown. Hooper is open again. They tried to strip him and get that strip cheese. But nah, we're going down first. And we keep on throwing the ball. Got this route. Throwing dots on the sidelines. And this is this is amazing right now. We're moving the ball downfield. This looks like a fluid offense. And we end up getting a dropped pass. So... Now we got to make something happen. On this next play, man, we calling all these adjustments. Fourth down, we have to convert to win. Nobody's open, so I throw it up. Julio Jones. Moss is the man in the end zone. We already know, man. My my, All I wanted to do, I wanted to pass it to one of the crossing routes. And I told myself, if these are not open, I got to put Julio on the streak and we throwing it up. Kind of threw a bullet pass. Let it pass it up. They couldn't 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 defend it, yo. Julio Jones with his 34-yard catch. That was actually his second catch of the game. And um that's what we do. So now all we gotta do is kick the field goal. <laughs> hey, you can't you can't make this stuff up, man. Madden 17 is definitely gonna be a crazy, crazy game right now. The way you can block kicks, block punts. Ah oh, man, hopefully the user can do stuff like this. Just legit, not all the time. You can't, you can't make this stuff up, man. Now we, <laughs> we end up going to overtime. But since they returned the kick for a touchdown, they got two points. We were up by two points. Now we're in overtime. They get the ball first, and we're just trying to stop them right now. Third and six. They go for the screen. I'm on it with Quincy. He somehow stops on the dime and catches that pass. Goes the other way. Quincy Blunt dives out the way. But it's okay. I was third down. They punted us the ball. Give it back to Daniel Taylor so he can run some people over. Getting that first down right up the middle, man. That's all we have to do. Hold the ball. Don't throw no interceptions. Make sure we run somebody over, get upfield, and then 
hold RB so they don't strip it. You know what I'm saying? This is working. It's working right now. It's been working for the whole second half of the game. Now we're coming out. We're going to try a screen of our own. Throwing it. To, um, I was about to say Daniel Taylor, but I think that was Devontae Freeman. They're on it, though. Fourth down. I, I hurry up. I don't know who. I don't know even know what I'm about to do. I put Julio Jones on the slant. Nobody's open. I just threw it. I just threw the ball. Corderell Patterson comes down with it. Clutch catch. Keeps the game alive for us right now. Um, now we got a first down, man. What can we do right here? I see there's nobody to the right side of the tight end, so I know it has to be something like, man, Malcolm Smith never saw it coming. Austin Hooper in the end zone. GG, no re, stop playing. We is out here right now. This is definitely a great game, yo. Madden 17. I, I hate that this happened to me. The thing is, when it happened to me, I was like, yo, this game is something something else, yo. I, you will hate when stuff like this happens to you and you end up losing. But luckily, I won, so we're all good. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this video, man, but it is coming to an end. So always remember, in the street we trust. I'm out.